In this video, I'm going to explain how to create dashboards using Grafana, or to be more precise, how to create uh, dashboards using Grafana with scripts, or JavaScript scripts for creating dashboards for Grafana. The idea is just uh, generate uh, dashboards by code, which is extremely more flexible than uh, designing dashboards using the Grafana user interface. Uh, when you run Grafana uh, using Docker, for example, like me, in this case, in a Linux machine, okay, you run or you use a command like that or similar to that. In this case, uh, what I am doing when I have to create those scripts for generating dashboards, it's map the, that directory, which is user share, share Grafana public dashboard to one of my directories, okay? And then inside uh, this directory, I have to put the, 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 the files that you have by default when you install Grafana. If you don't know what I mean, uh, it's uh, that, for example, okay, here it is, the list of files that Grafana expects in that directory by default. Why is that so important? Because, for example, home JSON file, it's the file used for showing the full Grafana welcome page. Uh, this is just Grafana with the default page when you install Grafana. And then this page is defined by, by the JSON file that I already showed you. Okay. Um, if you go to the scripted dashboards with Grafana, this is the, the page. Uh, here it's referred um, the let me say the short information how to how to play with it. Once, uh, if you pay attention, they talk about an example called scripted.js. That file is here. Okay. And if we want to call this file, the only thing that we have to do is in the base URL for Grafana, we add dashboard script and later the name of the script. Okay. Yes, of course, and forget about the parameter because it's added automatically by Grafana. Okay, and if I load this page, yeah, the script is run, and then the dashboard is generated. Okay, uh, maybe you already know that uh, I repeated that at the beginning, but at the end, this is a JSON file which defines the, the dashboard. Okay, very good. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm not going to, to show the code that uh, scripted.js has inside because it's a little bit long, a little bit messy, and I created just a very simple hello world file equivalent with the last one, which is called test.js. For adding that script, the only thing that I did is just add this file to this directory, and then remember for calling just put the path and refer the file, okay? And then if I run it, I can see how the dashboard is generated. Let me go to explain with a little bit of detail how this file is structured, just because it's really simple and it's really powerful how flexible you can be designing that. Um, the first thing is to define the script as a, a street once we have that, uh, it's just create a variable where we are going to store the JSON file. In this case, for simplification, we use the, the, the name dashboard. And at the end, just return that dashboard. Okay? And here we are going to define the JSON file. Uh, sorry, the JSON object. Uh, just uh, what we do is just say, the, dashboard is a JSON object with a title and a list of rows. Later we add a time filter, which is going to be applied by default when you run the dashboard. If we go here, we can see the time filter, the time range that it's applied, applied by default. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, later we push one row to the list, okay, and 
that uh, row, in this case, it, it has just the title and a list of panels. Inside the list of panels, uh, we only have one one panel. This is the panel defined by, by JSON structure with a title, a type, and as you can see, the data that I use for that as a, just an example, it's, it's random data. Okay, very good. Uh, then, as, as we have shown, uh, just uh, go here, run the script, and you see how the dashboard is generated automatically. So, <clears throat> of course, that script will have whatever complexity that you can design with, with Java. Um, this is just a very basic script uh, with uh, no special uh, complexity, no special things. But if you want to do whatever more, uh, let me say, more complex, you can. Just uh, let me go to the Grafana directory and then inside scripts. Here we have, for example, that uh, here it is, that script which uses uh, synchronous calls. Just uh, opening, just opening that. Second, and here it is. It uses Ajax queries and some more complex. Like here it is uh, Ajax definition, retrieving <coughs> some data, and later when the result is returned. The data is used for uh, generating the dashboard definition. Okay, I'm not going to go uh, to detail to understand how to play with those synchronous commands because it's a little bit long. But the main idea is clear. Mm, there is not so much documentation about how to play with it. It's mostly about uh, try and error. Uh, of course, remember the dashboards are defined. Uh, using uh, JSON, so the, the easiest way to get uh, successful results is just design whatever. Imagine that I already designed this <clears throat> this dashboard, and of course I can uh, I can get the, the JSON definition for this dashboard. Here it is, and it's easy to figure it out what the properties mean. And if it's too much or too complex because the dashboard that you have is big, remember, yeah, you can go uh, to the to the panel and just uh, require the JSON definition of the panel, and you can use all those JSON definitions to copy and paste directly uh, to your script, and just uh, introducing variables or whatever uh, dynamic um, content that you want to use for for generating the board. So this is mostly what I want to share with you. I hope it's useful.